My name is Andrew Martin, and I cover the food industry for the New York Times. And uh, I'd like to thank Jeff and the Earth Institute for inviting me. It's nice to know that the liberal media is uh, welcomed in some quarters. So. <laughs> no comment. Uh, welcome to the first panel. It is going to address agricultural systems and food and nutrition security. Um, I've spent uh, much of this year focusing on these issues, um, as have many of my colleagues in the media, and I'm looking very much forward to hearing what our panelists have to say about it. Um, the idea for this panel is to look at how to assure adequate food supplies for the world's poor at a time when food and commodity costs are higher than average and are expected to stay that way for some time. Um, among the other topics the panel will address are the consequences of increasing demand for meat-based diets and the role of indigenous crops in combating hunger and undernutrition. In the interest of time, I'm not going to read the full biographies of our panelists, and I suggest you do. They're in the, in the uh, material that was provided. Um, but they include Will Masters, who is professor and associate head of the Department of Agricultural Economics at Purdue University. He teaches and conducts research on economic policies for food and agriculture with a focus on Africa. Alice N. Pell is a professor of animal nutrition in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences at Cornell, where she was named Vice Provost of International Relations this past July. Since 2005, Professor Pell has been the director of the Cornell International Institute for Food, Agriculture, and Development which initiates and supports programs that contribute to improved global food security, sustainable rural development, and environmental conservation. Her current research focuses on Africa farming systems. Pedro Madrano is the regional director of the World Food Program for Latin America and the Caribbean. And as many of you know, the World Food Program is the United Nations' frontline agency in fighting global hunger. And uh, obviously, the escalating cost of commodities this past year has had a real impact on the agency's ability to provide food for people in some of the world's poorest countries, including Haiti. Um, Pedro A. Sanchez is the director of the Tropical Agriculture and the Rural Environment Program, senior research scholar, and director of Millennium Villages Project at the Earth Institute here at Columbia. Mr. Sanchez has spent his career dedicated to help eliminate world hunger and absolute rural poverty while protecting and enhancing the tropical environment. And finally, Jerry Steiner is Executive Vice President for Sustainability and Global Corporate Affairs at Monsanto. Uh, Mr. Steiner has been with Monsanto for more than 25 years and has been involved in biotechnology issues for more than a decade. And I think we're going to start with uh, Mr. Madrano. <laughs> 